Hello guys, how are ya? Um, it has been a very, very long, long time that I did not do or make a video. Actually, I made short videos, a lot of them, um, because I didn't really have the time to make longer videos. Um, well, a lot happened. Uh, I quit school. I'm not anymore a low student. Um, um, I'm back in my regular life, which means that I just blog and write books. Um, it's the end of the year, we are in December, we're in December, and um, I'm looking forward for 2023, you know, bring it on, bring more good energy 2023, you know, a dynamic that we never had before, um, bring an energy that like it's going to be cool um i'm looking for that like literally um yeah so this video i wanted to talk about a big dream that i have and i speak and I put it in the universe and I hope God sees it, you know. I really want to make movies. But let's first start by one. That would be great. I wrote a script a long time ago when I was like maybe 26, 27. And it's called Dolls. The Dolls. And... um. Literally, is about a young teenager. She's 16 years old. She lives in Paris. Her parents are divorced. And her dream is to become a singer, an international singer. Oh. But her father doesn't look at that dream as a reality. And it's actually not possible. Like, no, you're gonna be an engineer or an architect or something like that. And um, I really wanted to write that story because it reminded me when I was much younger, you know, for the people who don't know, I'm Kevin, Guillaume me Kuti, but you can call me Lulu. Follow me on Instagram at Kevin Guillaume Kuti or at Kevin Madame du Pigeon Salon or at Kevin um, Maison d'Art. And on TikTok, I'm Kevin Supermodel. Um, so, yeah, when I was much younger, I wanted to become somehow in the midst of my life um i wanted to work in publicity that was my dream that was my first dream i was like I'm, i need to work in in publicity um because amanda from melrose place who worked as the head of a company of um ad company and I thought, oh, that's so cool. Like, I want to do the same. Yay. I... Really? Really? Um, yeah, that was my dream. That was, like, my dream. And I wanted to do that. And... Uh, but I don't know if your life is written and this is what you're supposed to be doing and what. But I did not do that. This is not what I did. Because that was not, 
when it comes to my family a possibility uh you cannot be an artist and anything like that so after that i wanted to be um in communication not at all okay can i be in fashion like that's another dream of mine because i was the only black gay man in my high school who was reading vogue and um no and you know it's, i fell in love with fashion when i was 16 because i saw the devil wears prada and I was like, that's it. I want to be those people. I want to I wanna live in New York. This is the life that I want for myself. Um, let alone, this is not what happened. Nope. Uh, so when I graduated from high school, I left then for a, for a gap year. So I was thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And one of my sisters was like, you know, do low. Um, so I enrolled in, in low. And my teacher said, you're not good at this. So I was like, okay. I'm going to do political science instead. So... Four years of political science and I, I did political science and psychology and it was interesting because those years really taught me a lot about the art world you know how to watch news how to understand news how to speak how to communicate how to write um, and speak your mind and, and have like different vision, you know, polit political vision, um, sociological vision, historical vision, all that kind of different things that like all those bridges that I never saw in my life, it made completely sense when I started um, studying, you know, and it actually helped me to today have a blog and write about about it and um, and yeah so that's what I really do today but deep down I keep writing books because this is how I reveal myself it's how I portray um, the characters and you know um how i want to just express myself and describe the world and describe what it what what we live in and describe the society that we live in so no definitely i was not supposed to work in politics and or low even though I enrolled in law school and I passed my first year. But I, I, I decided to quit because it was way too much. And I was like, no, Kevin, like, you're not just going to jump into this. And, but yeah, so the reality is I actually love movies and fashion. These are the two things that I die for. And I want to achieve in my life. And um, absolutely, like, I still want to continue blogging. And I still want to continue to write books. Uh, but I want to make a movie. I want to make a movie. I want to act in a movie as well. Um... You never know. You just literally never know what happens. Like, I, my s other sister, who's very close to me, we were very close. We we're eight years apart, but it's like we're identical twins. Like, we really match everything that she does, I do, and, and vice versa. And, like, I listen to her very much, and her words is food you know, for me, and, um, 
I'm like, okay, uh, Kevin, sit down. I need to talk to you. I was like, okay. I was like, why don't you do stand up? Stand up? Making laugh people? Yeah, you're such a funny guy. And, and um, it would be so interesting to see you doing that. And like, why not? Why don't you give a shot at this? Uh, uh, what? You know, like in front of an audience and yeah, touring and make laugh people. Yeah, why don't you do that? Like it does, it's not a final destination, but it can be something that you did in your life. I was like, yeah, maybe, you know, you know what? You know what, girl? Uh, you're trying me right now. And not like, no, but like you should try. And let all that seek in. And I thought myself, okay, why not? Like, why, why would I not do that? Like, why would I not try? I have, have I anything to lose anyway at the end of the day? And so I enroll in that in this. I'm gonna be doing this in January because right now she's at she's she's at the hospital. She doesn't feel well. She had a very very hard time, and I'm letting this pass. And you know, I want her to be next to me when I go on stage. I have already wrote the paper. Um, and it's crazy. And it makes me like want to do this very much. But I don't know how it's going to turn out. Like I have no idea. I have so, so great love of of stand up like I, I i have my favorite guys that i always watch and i think they are amazing people and you just never know where like where where life takes you right you just have to believe in god put the thoughts and let it seek in and take it for him um I changed the way I looked at life, you know. I just celebrated two days ago my one year sober. I do not drink anymore. I think I told you guys I will make a video special, specialty about that. Especially about that. Um, yeah, so I changed the way I see. Like, I do meditation. I do affirmation. I talk to myself differently i see myself differently i go to sport now i have a coach i, I go there once a week um, i'm gonna try and do more next year um but yeah like i literally changed the way i look at life and i know it's just the beginning, you know, one of my cousins, Jean-Jacques, told me, you know what, this is the beginning of your spiritual journey. And I was like, oh, wow, like the way you said that, it's so beautiful. And yeah, it's the beginning of my spiritual journey. And I just cannot wait to embrace that and to feel absolutely um, driven uh, by all the things that I wanted to. So yeah, but coming back to the films that I wanna make, I'm very inspired by Quentin Tarantino. I just love his vision and I don't know, I mean, once upon, uh, once upon a time in Hollywood with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio was like a movie that I just saw. I just love how it's bizarre but very realistic at the same time. But 
uh, I also want to make movies that are, I don't know, political, political, and, and which, which is, are, you know, they are engaged. The other day I saw a movie, A Boy From Heaven. It's a guy who lives in Egypt, Cairo, and he goes to an Islamic school to be a priest. And it was very moving, like fascinating. And at the same time, the imagery was so out of the world. You can find all my summaries and of my books, of the books that I read and the movies that I read on my blog, Madame du Pigeon Salon. So you don't miss anything. I will put the link down below. Uh, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things. I'm a lot of things. How it's gonna turn out, I have no idea. I think it's the beginning. And uh, if I can speak to more than one or two people, it's great. It's better than just speak to your computer or your phone, like right now, you know? And uh, yes, I... I don't have any more expectations, to be honest with you. Like, I know when I first started writing, I was like, I want to be the next G.K. Rowling. I want to write books everywhere. Like, people will read my books. Everybody will read my books. And uh, I do not have that expectations no more. Like, I hope, I pray that people like it, but like, it's not, it's not, it, it doesn't define me anymore. Like right now, I'm thinking about my sister. I'm thinking about her health issues. And I'm like, oh my God, like, please come back. Please come back stronger than you were before. And she has to re-educate herself and work on her legs because her legs were paralyzed it's so so frightening like let me tell you this um but yeah i definitely look at myself and i am more grace grateful of little things around me and what comes up next is what comes up next. And I don't have to materialize anything. I don't have to think too much. But voila, I wanted to talk to you and I see you very soon. Thank you so much to come on my page. It's Kevin Lulu. And subscribe, share, like. The number you have dialed doesn't give a fuck. <laughs>